I want to introduce you to one of the greatest live fire pit masters and chefs that I've ever met. Not only has he inspired me, but he's inspired many others. His name is Chef Marcus Levy, and this is his playground. You know, I thought I had a pretty cool cooking situation in my backyard back in Virginia, but this live fire kitchen, just like going to the theater, there are so many different devices. The first time I ever met Chef Marcus was when he, he hoisted his fires into the sky and he wanted everybody to look up at the fires, but you're gonna be seeing offsets. You're gonna be seeing skewered cooks. You're gonna be seeing hanging meats, hanging fruits. It's so visual. I was talking to Chef this morning over coffee. He said it's not about the food, it's about the people. And I think as you follow us on this tour, you're gonna to probably agree with us. The people of Brazil are magical. They're, they're passionate, they're colorful. And, and today you're gonna to meet 400 of them and try the foods of Brazil all cooked over live fire. You know, some people, they might think it's a gimmick, but I'm here to tell you, it's theater, it's meat theater, and it works. You may have never thought of cooking this way. I never thought of cooking this way, but that's what makes Marcus Levy so brilliant. His devices are whimsical, they're visual, but they work. And at the end of the day, what he puts on the plate and what you put in your mouth is delicious. So a little background story on Chef Marcus Levy. He started cooking in his mother's restaurant when he was 14 years old. It was, it was a burger concept. He eventually went to Sao Paulo where he went to college and he started to work in restaurants. He's worked in a lot of high-end restaurants. He now has seven or eight restaurants and one hotel. Cooking with fire is part of the Brazilian culture and he's an artist. When it comes to cooking and fire and showmanship, they don't get any better than Marcus Levy. I think as you as you watch us follow him along and see the things that he does, you'll be charged up. So last night we arrived at Marcus Levy's 120 year old, very special hotel restaurant. He's got a live fire cooking arena. Every Sunday, 250 to 350 people come here. When we got here, the first thing Chef did was put me to work, which I enjoy. I don't speak Portuguese. He doesn't speak English much. And one of the ways we're able to communicate is through cooking and fire. But where he really sets the pace is his imagination. It's theater, it's showmanship. In his uh, creative mind, took a farm-raised pig, a wild pig, boned them out, laid them meat side up. From there, we seasoned with spices like cumin. We put garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil, citrus, and then we pressed them together. We stacked them together and skin side out and stitched it up and pressed it overnight. And then this morning, got up and lit a fire, and now it's been cooking. So we're getting ready to cut into it. What I think is so exciting about this, there's so many layers about Chef and why I get so charged up uh, being around him and feel so excited. And I think as you go through this culinary journey with us over the next couple of days, we're just hoping uh, to show you a little bit of the life and the world of Marcus Levy and his team and why he's so amazing to us. So Chef Levy is making lunch for us today and he's got a, a, a bunch of things going on here. He has got a lamb, which he is just basting with butter and paprika and it's uh, cooking beside the fire. He's got an Indian preparation, which is beef ribs. 
and they are again getting basted with this butter and, and paprika. Uh, normally in the old days they would dug a hole in the ground, but today he has got like a, a steel chest lined with rocks, uh, put a bed of coals in it, put some of the local leaves from the bushes and the trees that are next to it, and then he has put a lot of vegetables in there covered it with more fabric and then covered it with dirt. But back in the old days, they would go off to war and this fire would be smoldering, the heat would be smoldering, and they'd come back from battle where they would have their food ready to eat. I'm sure you can see this is a very special lunch. I'm excited to sit down with Chef and, and eat some of this food that has so much history behind it. I don't know about y'all, but it's not every day that you have a lakeside lunch like this. Only when you're with Chef Marcus Levy would that happen. We had beef ribs earlier. We had empanadas. We cooked uh, Patagonia-style lamb. We cooked vegetables under dirt. So we're gonna we're gonna sit down, have a little bit of lunch, but we're gonna start getting ready for Sunday. Sunday's gonna be a live fire cooking festival. There'll be people that come from everywhere. It's going to be epic, so let's just get a little bit of lunch and then we'll start to get organized and get ready for Sunday. I know I keep talking about the great chef. I don't even need to say his name anymore. He's invited a bunch of us to come and cook with him. Today is Father's Day in Brazil. There's going to be 400 guests coming. We're all cooking on open pits, live fire. Chef Levy is a conductor and this is like a live fire orchestra. There's stations all over cooking different styles of food. We're cooking beef, we're cooking chicken, we're cooking pork, we're cooking vegetables. But this showpiece here, who do you think this is? It's the great chef, Marcus Levy. He's a visionary. He can hoist these up in the sky so people look up at the fire. They're not looking down at the fire. Another thing that's very cool about this is cage that holds the meat is on one pulley and then the fire in the middle is on another pulley. So you can make them move differently to control the fire and the temperature to cook the meats as you want. O, o gaúcho assa o churrasco sempre com fogo de chão. Mas as fotografias, as imagens era sempre pro chão, pra parte mais feia. E eu disse, nós temos que levar o fogo a um outro estágio, a outro nível. Então por que não elevar o fogo e as fotos e as imagens serem pro alto, o fogo e o alimento. Então quando você tem o fogo e o alimento, você tem um outro momento de valorização e muito mais conexão. E o mais incrível disso, com isso a gente gasta menos lenha, menos carvão, é sustentável porque você não tem a energia indo pro solo, a energia está indo pro alimento. So all the guest chefs that Levy has come to his Sunday brunch, pick a dish to cook. For my dish, we're doing whole chickens. They were brined. They were seasoned with a rub that has a, a sumac in it, oregano, garlic, black pepper, and salt. Hung it over the fire to get smoked. Normally, I prefer to do these chickens spatchcock or maybe half chickens. But the chickens that came in for us, they were really big chickens. So hung it over the fire to get smoked once it came down cut it into parts, put it to the grill, cooked to doneness, tossed in a white barbecue sauce with a little dill seed to finish. The inspiration behind this dish is probably uh, goes back to when I was working on my cookbook. Uh, Chris Lilly and Big Bob Gibson's uh, in Decatur, Alabama are really known for it. Alabama is really known for it, but it's a white barbecue sauce. If you don't know what a white barbecue sauce is, it's a mayonnaise based barbecue sauce. And today mine has granulated garlic and salt and cayenne, but it's got dill seed, which has got a nice little punch to it. And it just gives a tangy zesty finish to the rub chicken that was cooked on the smoker and the grill. There's lots of different chefs, lots of different stations cooking lots of different foods and lots of different styles. This station that we're at here is shaved lamb and they've made a, a basting marinade, which has got like little citrus, bay leaf, cinnamon, 
uh, cardamom, mustard seeds, and they baste it over the meat. It goes to the grill. And then to finish the dish, they're doing an Indian sauce, so it's like a raita, so it's a yogurt dipping sauce. From there, they've got something that I'm not familiar with, but it's like a Brazilian horseradish, so it's got a little bit of spice, and they sprinkle that on. Oh, yeah. Lots of flavor, very visual. Makes my wow. chicken with white Amazing. sauce look a little dull to me, but Amazing. it's really beautiful. Wow. Unbelievable. So if you've never been to Brazil before, it's all about the beef. The Brazilians love their beef. They love steak. This station here, they're cooking steak and they're serving it with the national Brazilian dish, feijoada and rice. So it doesn't get much more Brazilian than this station right here. Little chimichurri, kiss of that fire, great Brazilian beef, hats off to the chef. So when I was giving you a tour of all the cooking apparatuses, the one behind me here was one of the ones that goes up into the sky and they were cooking beef ribs. You can see they're succulent, they're juicy, and we're just gonna take a little bite. It's got some squash that's gone with it. Lots of uh, bold flavors, heavy on the salt, but not too salty. You can see it's juicy. So I hope you have enjoyed the tour of this amazing celebration of all things cooked on fire. Um, Marcus Levy and his team and his guest chefs do such an amazing job. And it's not about just the food. Chef told me it's not about the food. It's about the people, it's about the music, kids running around, dogs running around. It's time for me to get a bite to eat. One of my favorite things is grilled charred vegetables. The chef nailed it. Pepper's not overcooked. Melted cheese, little vinegar, a little olive oil, parsley. Perfect. That's it. 400 happy people, music, kids playing, dogs. All the chefs have finished up their stations. If you didn't know who Marcus Levy was before, you sure do now. Marcus Levy! <laughs>